Alright, Cheryl is opening the package, taking everything apart. Boom! Alright guys, we got the box opened. Here's the instructions. Here is the instructions. <laughs> and then instructions. What? Okay. Alright, so these are the wheels. Yep. Let's move that out of the way. Big off-road frame. frame. I'll put the frame together, you can get that started. Okay. Yeah, I always like use the spray paint. Alright. Alright. So, so we're gonna join the gorilla cart. That was my all in. Yep, here we go. <laughs> Alright, so what we're gonna do with this bad boy is scuff it up a little with the little pad, the scotch pad, so that way the paint sticks well. Okay, let's All let's right. first read off the caution. Caution. Not for recreational use. I'm never reading this. This part should not be used for transporting passengers. We will be transporting passengers on here. Do not tow cart in excess of five miles per hour. Tie it to the truck and go fast. We're probably gonna go a little bit faster than that. Never tow behind car or truck. I think that's its do list. And not for highway use or to be used at high speeds. All right, we'll see. We'll be using this a whole lot. So we'll just see how everything goes. All right guys, so we're gonna scuff it up with the scotch pad just to get the paint to adhere. Just a little bit of elbow grease for this phase here. And if you get closer, there's actual marks that you can see while we're scratching up the surface here. I can erase any of those marks. You can see them? Mm -hmm. Good job. That's what we want. I got my towel to just wipe down all the dust that's accumulating on the cart here. Mom, but it's already painted. We're gonna paint it a different color. We're gonna make it our own, Nelpy. Can you please use gold? <laughs> So, I just finished up with the scratching of the surface using the harsher side of the sponge. Um, it actually took off the layer of gloss that was on the cart here. So, we wanted to make sure we kind of rough it up a little bit just so that the paint can really adhere to the cart here and we can hope that it doesn't chip a little later um, while we're using it. And I'm taping off the wheel just so the paint can hit the rim part. And now uh, the reason why Holm is doing that and I am doing this is because typically I don't have as much patience as he does with all the small period, patience, period. details. Oh, for real. 
Um, I like roughing it up a little bit. Nothing where I have to stay in between the lines. So we are giving ourselves or each other the right roles for the project. Okay, so I'm helping Poland with at least doing some of the wheels. And I take a little longer in this process because I have to remind myself to take it slow or it's going to look really bad. And I'll probably use more tape than I need to. But what do you do? It has to be done. guys everything is dried up and ready to assemble you got this boo time to assemble it yes we are here on our concrete slab that is unfinished but we can walk on it now Look at all the stuff we have all right here we go Assemble. Assembly day. It's very sticky though. Under the tape. wagon with our big old kid who clearly can walk. Ha, 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 ha. 